are these people? Uh, what What do you think are the next? What What do you think should happen next for Palestinian liberation? Right? What What would that even look like? First of all, like, and is there any tangible actions that our audience can take to assist? You know. You know, I th I think really the most important thing is this fight against Zionism, against the Zionist movement. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is that the Zionist movement is not only occupying Palestine, it's occupying the US and it's occupying the UK and it's occupying the EU. So in a sense, people in the US have their own war against the Zionist occupation of, you know, pretty much all of their essential sectors and infrastructure. Right, whether it's the military industrial complex, whether it's the media, whether it's your political system. And this is why I've just been, you know, tearing my hair out after the kind of so called <laughs> Trump assassination and how people are still falling for this duopoly, for this political system, <laughs> which is completely kind of, you know, it's, it's totally occupied. It doesn't matter who becomes president. <laughs> right. It doesn't matter who they pick for their administration. It, it doesn't matter because they're all controlled. Right. Right. And they're all controlled by the Zionist movement. I mean, why, why do your congressmen have to sign a pledge of allegiance to Israel? Is Israel the U.S.? Right. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, but who do your leaders represent are they really representing the u.s or are they representing the interests of israel right yeah we you know, know the answer kennedy, you know kennedy was really clear about this um surprisingly because he's an absolute again right sort of, wanted them to sign the middle and he's got zionist written all the way through wanted to force them um, to have this, foreign agent relations signed with them right what happened to him? Yeah, Something happened to him. Um, you know, I vaguely remember something in Houston, but you know, what do I, I, know, I remember? I'm talking Robert F. Kennedy. I'm talking oh, sure. Robert, I mean, young Kennedy. But yeah. you know, I mean, he he was perfectly clear about what Israel represents. It represents the, the block for the rise of the global south, or rather, the freedom and independence of the global south, and yeah. the rise of any threat to U.S. and Zionist um, control of the region and the world resources, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, and this has been clear for decades. I mean, this shouldn't come as a surprise to people. And anyone who thinks Trump getting in is going to resolve anything, they're absolutely insane and delusional. Because well, if you look even... at the four years of Trump, uh, Trump presidency and what he did to the Middle East and what he did to the Palestinian cause and how he effectively enabled um greater israel to to come into being yep. through the abraham accords you know i mean it, it's insane so i think from my perspective and i say this about the uk as well you've got to recognize how your state is entirely captured by this movement now like what britain basically effectively gave birth to rather like frankenstein has now become <laughs> a bigger frankenstein than Britain, way more, and actually is in danger of becoming a bigger Frankenstein than the U.S., right? <laughs> right. Which is I mean, it's incredible. not just Trump, though. Yeah, right. Like you mentioned yeah. Yeah. It's Kamala, not just same, Trump. same. Same thing with same, Kamala same. as well. And it's yeah. funny. I think Third that parties people, aren't any better, right. unfortunately. It's, well, just the argument that all of our government, as you said, is captured. So um across the board.